back to another video my name is Kay and this is crown baller if this is your first time here hello welcome how are you we are all things basketball and beauty DIY beauty things fashion lifestyle and I travel so if you are interested in these things make sure you guys go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below and if you're a returning subscriber hey well how you doing I missed you welcome back also follow me on all of my social medias they'll be on the screen if not they will be in the description box <laughs> below y'all know how this goes so without any further ado let's get into this video okay babe so i know y'all see me i look completely different i've never done a look like this on my channel and like can we just get into her for just a minute yeah but this is a wig that i purchased from a youtuber it's a wig actually from mega look hair and i just am in love with this color i didn't know how i would feel about it on my skin but i'm absolutely in love with it let me know how you guys feel about her or whatever i'm definitely gonna go flick it up so make sure y'all go head over to my socials so y'all can go like all my pictures and my stories and stuff like that but let me know how you guys like it and let me know how you guys think about this video and i will see you babes later ciao okay babe so we gonna hop straight into this video because i know i'm looking crazy i don't really have braids underneath my wigs when i do install them but like your girl just got back in the country and i didn't feel like braiding my hair down i need to wash my hair so i'm being really lazy right now so i recently just purchased a wig and normally when i say that i recently just purchased a wig i normally purchase that wig from an actual site as we know youtubers are sent wigs all the time and they just turn around and resell them because who was going to keep a collection of a thousand wigs they get every other day myself included so i went on to one of the youtuber stores her name is trendy k if you know her here on youtube and i bought a wig mega look sent her this super cute blonde wig and we gonna put her on today show you guys what came in the package so she left all of the original like little gifts it came with some wig caps and with another little edge brush Came with some lashes. I don't really wear strips, so I normally always give them away when people buy wigs for me. So it came with this little clip, which is super cute. And it also came with one of the little elastic bands that you lay down your baby hairs and stuff with. And then here's the wig. It says 26 inches on there. So I'm gonna post a video on the screen that she actually used or put this wig on in. Okay, so here is the wig. She's giving me like stormy vibes it's really like a rough wig though like i might have to wash this and deep condition her because baby is she a little rough it is flowy though love that in the video she did like do the little jt inspired hairstyle and did the little bangs with the flip over like side part um, i'm probably going to definitely change that as you can see she already cut the lace and here's the inside of this wig i've never seen a white wig cap construction so this is definitely new for me it has two adjustable straps four combs two on the side one behind the frontal and then one in the back i just want to put her on real quick just to see what we dealing with hold on it looks synthetic that's what it looked like y'all see me mega look i know this ain't how y'all coming i just know it ain't this is the original hairstyle that trendy k did on this wig if i'm being honest i'm not a fan of the hairstyle the jt hairstyle like i think it's cute on everybody else but i don't know how it's giving on me because this is giving <laughs> this is not it for sure. She adjusted this to her head, but we want this to be adjusted to our head, okay? I'm using all of my Erica J Hold Me Down line. I'm gonna brush back my hair, because I haven't done that. So let me get my hair out the way. Okay, so I got my hair out of the way. I'm gonna use some of my Hold Me Down Skin Guard. 
And whenever I use the skin guard, it just makes everything better. And it makes it last longer as well. So I have the Hold Me Down Adhesive Sport. It normally does have the little, the little bristles on, but child, we've been through a lot. We could talk about that another time. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced. So no one else do. So I have her glued down. I put the little, what is this? Whatever this thing is called. The color is definitely growing on me. I do love that the wig is a true 13 by four. Like the parting space on this wig is thick from here to here. I love that. Cause normally on these 13 by fours, they really be like 13 by four closure right here. And then like one inch parting space. I am getting some strands. I don't know if you guys can see the strands when I'm brushing the hair. I wanna say the lace is HD, but I don't know for sure, so don't quote me. The lace definitely melted into the glue. I'm not sure if this came pre-plucked, but I definitely see where I will have to do some plucking. I'm a middle part bae, so I'm gonna always go for the middle part. I'm really just installing her and giving you guys like my initial thoughts to see what we think we like about her. The hair is rough super duper bleached maybe that's where the roughness is coming but you can definitely fix that with the deep condition the color of this wig is giving me like a hint of purple i don't know if it was washed with purple shampoo before it was sent to me you guys can see like the blonde is beautiful and it has like these gray highlights what's so funny is that i was looking at this wig on the site i was trying to decide if it was gonna look good on me or not not doing my makeup so i want to just see how the wig looks on me if that makes sense does anybody else struggle with um parts <laughs> That's one thing about me, I'm a struggle trying to get this part straight. Also, I, on my lace, I did use a little bit of this Wig Dealer's Lace Blend Spray. Um, I literally just sprayed it on and then used my blow dryer to dry the lace. Let's take off this melt band and see the melt that she gave. Like, when I say the wig didn't have no plucking at all, It didn't have no plug in. You know how you used to get so in and your leave out was up here? So they just used to stick out. That's what the bangs doing. Look at them. They just sticking out. But honestly, if we gonna do some bangs, like we could just do some bangs. I'm not really well versed in the bang community, but we could do some bangs. Since they already here anyway. Maybe a little bit more. Y'all, how do y'all make bangs? This is what they be doing? Let me see. I'm gonna cut them longer than shorter. I'm getting a vision of what I want this hair to be. So I'm just gonna go with it.
Okay, so here is my little finished product or whatever. I just put this brown little moment on because I was just feeling real brownie with this salt hair. Not salt and pepper, just salt. I really like it. I think it's cute. I think I'm going to have to cut the bangs a little bit shorter just because they in my face. And I can't... I, I, let me see. I just... I, I don't know how I feel about the sweep over. <laughs> no, that isn't going to work. So I'm going to cut them um, just a little bit shorter so that they're not like all the way in my eye. But I do like the length of them now. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm just like super disguised. Like no one can see who I really am. I'm incognito. And I like that. I feel like this look is just super cute. It's really fun. I never did a look like this. I never do bangs. Like I literally have only done bangs one time in my life and I had a short bob wig. So for me to have bangs on this hair is just absolutely crazy. First impressions of this hair, and like I said earlier, the hair is like, a little bit rough so when i take this wig off and wash it i'm definitely gonna have to deep condition it and let it sit for a little bit maybe do the boiling method with some silicone mix just to make sure that the hair gets soft like it needs to be or hopefully that it can get i do feel like the hair has just been processed a lot and that's why it just was a little bit hard i'm gonna try to put some love in her and see but i'm definitely gonna give you guys an updated review on this wig again this is from mega look hair and I will link all of the details of this wig in the description box if I haven't put them on the screen already. And of course, the link where you can purchase this wig. The wig is pretty affordable, even though I did buy it from someone. I believe it's like under $300. This is a 26 inch, super duper long. Let me just show y'all how far it comes down on me. It comes down to my butt, so it definitely is super long it has a lot of body i don't know what density this hair is i want to say it's like 220 maybe 180 it's pretty thick i know i like a lot of hair so we could always do more hair but i think that it's a pretty good density for what it is tell me what you guys think about it tell me how you guys like this hairstyle you can kind of see my cap here in the back i named her china but i feel like i should name her trish because that's trisha is how i feel tricka trissa Tris, Trisha, Tristan, Tri Tristan. Okay, you're not. Tandis. Tandis. Oh! That is all. I just wanted to kind of install her and see how I could transform this wig for you, babe. So again, let me know how you like it. If you like it, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below any comments, questions, or concerns. And babes, I'm about to go get some food because I just look good, I feel good, and I'm hungry. But thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video, and I will see you babes on the next one. Now give me a kiss. Mwah.